What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. We're going to check out how to make your robots really awesome. Best builds for your average robot. We're going to look at modules, pilot skills, drones, and chips. And I feel that these are the overall best ones you can get on most robots. Alright, certain robots might be a little different, like Fenrir. You might want to do something a little different with your Fenrir because he's a tank. But your average robot... I'm going to show you my very favorite setups. These are the things that you want to get on these robots, guys, if you can, right? Now, if your thing is doing nothing but damage, we're going to take a look at modules first. Three overdrive units or two overdrives and one nuclear amplifier is huge. Either one of those two setups is going to get you crazy damage, guys. So either three overdrives or two, two overdrives and one nuclear amplifier will do you awesome for a damage setup. For just an all-around really nice damage and durability setup, you're going to run two balance units and a last stand. When you're in Champion League, a last stand is almost a must on the majority of your robots because I'll tell you what, when people see a robot without last stand, they often target it first. They're like, oh, that guy's going to be really easy to kill. Let's go get that one first and get rid of him because we're going to be able to take him out. No problem. It doesn't have a last stand. All right, last stand is extremely important. It's a huge help. If you guys don't have last stands, once you get up into champion, you're going to need to, you're going to, need to get some of those, honestly, and start upgrading them. I know it kind of sucks how much it costs to, to acquire and upgrade these modules, but... Modules are movable damage, movable durability, movable this. You can put these on any robot down the line as you change your stuff around. So if you look at it that way, the modules are actually a huge deal. Plus they help so much it's not even funny. Now currently I think the best overall setup you can get for anything right now, except for your tanks, is going to be one nuclear amplifier, one heavy armor kit to add some durability, and one last stand. Now, as far as uh, what you run down here, generally, I'm either going to run Advanced Repair or I'm going to run Healing, depending on which drone I'm using. And we'll get to that a little later. There are some robots where if, you're, if your goal is to do nothing but huge damage, Death Mark might come in handy. Uh, some robots lock down. Some robots, you know, the Quantum Raider, Shield, shield Breaker, or Jump Units might come in handy. But overall, you know, overall... I'm either going to run healing or phase shift. There may be a few robots here or there that I grab one of these to put on though. Alright guys, so those are my recommended modules for most robots, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. But this one right here, alright, these three setups right here, if you can get that, that's going to work wonders on most robots. Alright, so that's that would be your goal in my opinion, is to get a nuclear amp, heavy armor kits, and last stands, or... Like I said, if you don't got that stuff, maybe run two balance units in the last stand. That's my second favorite right now. All right, so now we're going to check out the best overall pilot skills for your average robot. So armor expert, expert to get more durability is awesome. Mechanic is awesome. Roadhog is awesome. If your robot has a built-in ability, like a, a cannon like the Hades or the Ares or something that does damage, Destroyer is always something you want to look at getting because it makes that weapon do more damage, okay? Now, if you're running a drone that has a healing unit and your drone chips give you more damage and or defense points when you hit that healing unit, these three modules right here are a must-have because they really make so that healing unit recharges faster, lasts longer, and makes so you can use it more often. That means more damage and more defense points more often. Okay, so if you if you run the, one of those drones right there, these are something you want to look at getting if possible. Now you'll see on this robot I have a scout and a spy skill. Those are great for speed on some robots that have these available, you might want to think about getting a Scout, Roadhog, and Spy. All three of those make this robot really fast. Speed's very important in this game, guys. Very important. And the Clever Survivor skill is another one you want to look at. Some robots, this is available, some it's not. But when you drop below 50% health, 
this skill will make so you can use your ability again. Let's just say you use your ability. Next thing you know, robot goes below 50% health. You can instantly hit it again and use it a second time right away once you drop below 50%. So I love the clever survivor on most robots where it's available. All right, so now we're going to look at drones and my very favorite builds for some of the different drones. So if you're running a healing module on your robot, you're either going to use a Persephone or you're going to use a Nebula, guys. All right, Persephone has definitely become one of my favorite all-time drones. And if you can get them, all right, these are the best chips. On repair unit damage, on repair unit defense. With this drone, every time I use my healing module on my robot, I get more damage and I get more defense points, plus I got a shield on it. So... This will give me something like 35% more damage, and this will give me 160 defense points, which is crazy. That's over 50%, well over 50% durability, plus more damage. I love this drone, plus it heals you up. So if you can get one of these, go for it. My next favorite drone for damage and durability, or I should really say for the durability, is the Nebula. All right, it's got an ability that heals your robot. It's got an effect slot, so you can put lockdown, suppressor, freezer on this slot if you want. And then it's got two of these deals where you can get that 160% defense points every time you hit your healing module plus a shield, okay? So pretty much the same thing as the other drone, except for it's got a different ability, and it doesn't have that damage on healing damage chip. It's just got an effect chip, but... Besides that, very similar. I like the Persephone much better. Next, we're going to look at the glider drone and the best setup for this. So glider is kind of cool. If you're using a phase shift on your robots, glider is the way to go because every time you come out of a phase shift, you're going to repair 22% of your durability. All right, so this is the way I like to set mine up. All right, I run, I run after phase shift fix. So after I come out of a phase shift, that gives it even more, all right? That gives it even more repair after the phase shift. And on this one, I've got an on kill fix, which is something I'm trying out. That's one of the newer chips. Every time you get a kill, it's going to give you some more. It's going to repair your robot. I'm not really so sure about that one yet. But on a healing bot like your Demeter or your Tear or your Nightingale, I would probably run a control resistor, two of the on repair fix chips, and the mild damage absorber if you can on the glider. If you want to keep it really simple, I would pick your favorite effect, whether it's lockdown, control resistor, freezer. That one's really personal preference. But after phase shift fixed, after phase shift fixed, and mild damage absorber, if you want to keep it simple on the glider, go with this. If you run two of these chips, Every time you come out of phase shift, you're going to get the ability, the healing from the drone's ability plus the healing from those two chips. This is a really good setup right here for your average person. I would either run the suppressor, the control resistor, the lockdown, or the freezer on the effects chip, depending on what you're trying to accomplish with your robot. But yeah, glider drone is pretty awesome. Now, if you want to do lockdown and more damage, the paralysis is amazing for robots that you're using a healing unit on because you can have two of these on repair unit damages. So every time you hit your healing module, you're going to do like 70% more damage if you have two gold ones. All right. Plus, you can put your lockdown or your freezer, your suppressor, your control resistor, whichever one of those you like best can go on that slot. And it's got the mild damage absorber chip. I pretty much try and get the mild damage absorbers on every single drone because those are the best shields in my opinion. All right, nothing can shoot through them for up to two seconds. They just nerf those so that the purple shield lasts up to two seconds right now. Now, the Beak is a really interesting drone. It's not really going to be one of my go-tos, but it's kind of cool. It's got a weird ability where the first time you get shot you go into stealth for five seconds, and that only works one time, okay? But after that, you have two damage chips, and you've got one durability chip. So I would put on two of those chips where every time you hit the uh, hit the repair module, the healing module, 
you're going to get more damage and more defense points plus the mild damage absorber chip all right so that's how i would set this drone up if i had it it's kind of a neat drone it's not really my favorite but it's kind of a cool deal honestly kind of a cool deal honestly if your thing is mainly damaged plus a little bit of protection from the five seconds of stealth i don't know those are my recommended drone setups guys I know a lot of these items are not easy to get, they're not easy to level up, but this is just a video to kind of show you what to, to work towards getting, what to go for in the future, alright? If you can get some of this stuff, I know it, it's hard, but guys, this is the way you want to build your stuff if possible, alright? Just try and share how to make some of the best builds, get your robots set up to where they're performing really good, to where they're really competitive in Champion League and stuff like that. Uh, weapons, that depends on the bot, that depends on personal preference, but as far as like overall builds go, minus the weapons, those are the things that I would definitely recommend to you guys. All right, so I think that pretty much wraps it up. We went over pilots, drones, modules, Pretty much anything but the robot's weapons. So let's go ahead and play a game, guys. Let's go ahead and play a game. Now, real quick on getting the good drone chips. I know the purple ones are really expensive, but the, the white ones or gray ones and the blue ones here are actually pretty cheap to buy. Every time I see one that I like that's either white or blue, I buy it. I come in here and I buy it and then I combine these things. And doing that over the last, I don't know, year or whatever, however long these things have been out, I've built some really nice chips. It's very rare that I buy the purples because the purples are very expensive and they will suck down all of your gold like it's nothing. But buying the blues and this whatever, I don't even mind watching a battle, watching a video to refresh this. If there's no chips I want, I watch a video to refresh it. I might even spend 50 gold to refresh it once per day just to try and get some nice chips out of here. That's a really big help if you can do that, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring out our hover first. I don't think I've played this setup on the hover yet, so we're going to try this out and see how this goes. There's somebody way over there. Let's try and beat up this shell. We don't want to get too close to that. They've already got to the beacon, so I loaded into this match a little bit late. My guess is one of those other robots must have blown himself up and left the match, because, you know, normally... We're going to try and get out of there. We're going to hit that healing module, because that thing is coming after me, right? We got to get this guy. We got to get this guy. We're going to fly away, fly away. All right, we're going to go after this dude next. It's another freaking Orochi, man. They're everywhere. These cockroaches. Cockroach, get out of here. La cockroach, la cockroach. La 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 la. La cockroach, la cockroach. Oh, I see where I'm going now. I'm going to go grab these beacons back here real quick. All right. Oh, actually, I don't need to. We got two guys coming over there, so I'm going to go ahead and let them take it. Ah, oh, crap. What is that? Hit that healing module. Let's bust this guy up real quick. All right, I'm not really used to playing longer distance hover setups. Usually I play something closer on him right now. Actually, I've always played Spark and Scourge on here, or I've played some like shotguns or something like that where you gotta be up real close. But this is kind of a cool setup. I like this so far. I do like this. All right, we're gonna hit that healing module. Actually, I should have waited till my last stand ended because, you know. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm going to come back here for a bit. Unfortunately, they've got lock-on weapons. Like, lock-on weapons, it's really easy to hit and take this guy out. Unfortunately, it looks like this clan is kicking our butts. All right, our team's not doing super well right now. But here comes somebody. Let's get this guy real quick. Come on. Come on. Aw, oh, crap. I'm reloading. I'm going to jump up in the air and make him lose his lock on. Let's get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Oh, poops, he got me. All right, let's come back here with our Fafner. Let's take care of a little business on this beacon. Let's get up in the air. Smash this guy up real quick as soon as his shield goes down. I guess that's a fin right here. So let's go ahead and land right here. Hit him with all these weapons. 
rid of him real quick. All right, we're gonna take him out as fast as we can. This guy's a pain in our buttocks. B -b 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 buttocks. Hey, here comes a shell. So I'm gonna spam that healing module right now to get some more damage and resistance from these chips. That way they have a hard time killing me. All right, let's get up in the air. Let's see if we can bust this guy up. Go ahead and land. All right, let's kill him, kill him, kill him. D -d 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 His last stand's on. All right, the other guy's dead. Good, good. We killed that dude. I see a Miramitz up there. We got to get some of these beacons back, right? We got three of them, which is good, but I want a couple more. I want to get a couple more. Let's go after these guys. Uh-oh. Let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. These guys are distracted. I'm going to sneak right back in here without them noticing. Check that out. They have no idea I'm back here. This is good. This is good. Okay, go ahead and shoot. Ah, let's go after this dude. Let's get there fast here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and go up in the air. I grab their beacon. Oh man. He's done for. He's done for. And I'm gonna go ahead and land right about now. That way I bring out all the weapons, plus I get my extra damage resistance, and I'm gonna hit that healing module again to get those drone chips working. All right, currently I have the Persephone on here with the two on the two chips that give me defense points and the one that gives me damage every time I hit that healing module. So they really help your robots do well, guys. I love this setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and back off. We got a guy up there, kill these guys from the air. Let's go ahead and steal this beacon over here because it's open, right? This one's open, might as well grab it. Let's go ahead and land on it. Hopefully I make it. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna lock him down, lock him down. Don't let him get over here. Crap. He's gonna, oh, so close, so close. All right, I see there's guys trying to steal this. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my Demeter over here. Okay, so that's a Titan. We're gonna heal up our guys here and womp on this Titan real quick. All right, let's get rid of that dude. Later, dude. Why can't I target? Oh, he's dead. Cool, cool. That's why I can't target him, because he's not alive. Try and get that guy. Flamethrowers are hard to aim, guys. They're, they're really good weapons overall. I'm going to come over this way. Let's burn this guy up. All right, he left. I'm going to go steal that beacon real quick. That Ming can't hit me if I move to the right spot. Plus, no one's really over here, so... Is a good opportunity to grab this. All right, we're gonna grab this beacon away from them. Let's go try and kill this Ming. I'm gonna hit the healing unit. I'm gonna try and burn this guy real good with my flamethrowers. Oh, he's a little too far away now. So let's go back and retreat. We're all nice and healed up. Here comes a Rochi. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Yes, we got him. We got him. that healing module we don't really have any ammo left so we're just going to try and heal this guy till we reload all right i got a phase shift on here so if i need to i can phase shift and get out of some of this damage right let's kill this guy real quick oh they got me they got me i'm gonna go ahead and no no wait yeah let's go ahead and bring this guy in here it's probably not the best place to drop him I think I just screwed up really bad, actually. I want, I am too close to those, oh my god, freaking hawks. All right, I messed up, guys. Hmm, I should have dropped in somewhere else. I suck. Every once in a while, somebody comes by and leaves on the comments, Danny Lightning, you suck. Sometimes I think they're right. <laughs> Sometimes they might be right. So, yep. I don't care. We all make some mistakes, right? We all make mistakes. Do the wrong thing. Get ourselves into bad situations where the enemy's kicking our butts. Damn, that guy's hit hard and he keeps going into stealth. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. I'm confused. Did someone kill that guy? 
I don't know what it was. Maybe it teleported out of here, but we've lost all the freaking beacons again. What the heck? Oh, it's a scorpion. All right. Stupid scorpions. Stupid scorpions. See, I would phase shift and heal myself. I'm running that glider drone, but the problem here is, all right, the sonic weapon's made so I can't heal myself up. So no matter what I do, unfortunately... Oh, God. I gotta get out of here. No matter what I do, I can't heal up from that. Oh, man. They're surrounding me. They're everywhere. All right. They're stealing everything. Our guys have really fell off the wagon. It looks like we've only got, like, two guys left. So I'm just gonna do what I can do. All right. Let's try and get this guy out of here as quickly as possible. Out of what ammo, out of ammo. I'm gonna go ahead and phase shift it because that will make me heal up a lot. So when I come out of phase shift. Alright, we lost. We lost. Anyways. We tried. I feel like I played the game pretty well. Not really sure what happened with my team there, but uh We lost that one. 3.3 million damage, two kills, five beacons. Pretty sure I came in first. Nope, I came in second. That guy had seven beacons. So me and this dude were getting a lot of beacons. This guy got some nice beacons. Uh, we were up against a full squad, though. That's probably why we lost, all right? I think overall, it looks like our team did pretty good. I mean, everybody got over 2 million damage. You know, everybody had nice scores overall. Everybody had at least one beacon. So, hey, we tried. We tried. But I guess that pretty much wraps this one up. So we will catch you all later. All right. Lightning out. See y'all later.